So here we have our darker colors in the Fusion Mineral Paint line, and I'm going to start off by working with the Liberty Blue. It's one of our darkest blues that we have, and it is a true blue, really kind of a, in the darker range. You can see as I paint it out that you can really see the depth of it. Much darker than um, any of our other blues that are in the line, such as the Champness, which is kind of your sky blue. This is really that true deep navy. That's our Liberty Blue. One of the other ones we have is our Homestead Blue. And this is deceivingly gray in tone, and you can really see that when you start to paint it out side by side against the Liberty Blue. You can really see how that Liberty Blue is that true blue. Whereas the Homestead Blue, in direct comparison, has a lot more gray in it and a lot more of that green. Now next, one of our most popular colors is Ash. And it is sort of a take on a charcoal color, sort of a modern day charcoal, very popular in the line. And there you can see it side by side next to the Homestead Blue. You can see how dark it is in comparison. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put our truly darkest color in the line right next to it, just so that you can see the contrast and actually see how much lighter ash is. So here we have coal black. I love coal black because it's a true pure jet black. Quite difficult to find this in many other lines of paint, but ours has that really nice rich depth to it. We get this depth by adding some other fun pigments in there like a blue and a red and that really gives it that super deep intense look. Now one of our newest colors comes from the Michael Penny collection and it is called Soapstone and it really is reminiscent of a true natural soapstone. I want to show you how much lighter it is of a gray. So I'm going to put it right next to the black and there you can see how light of a gray it is. Quite often it's hard to see the colors unless you have them side by side. I'm also going to go ahead and put it right next to the Homestead Blue and the Ash so that you can see those comparisons as well. It's a much lighter gray, really soft and gorgeous. When it's dry, it actually has a little bit of a, a blue undertone to it. Um, so always test your colors, watch them dry and see if you like them. And don't forget that your lighting plays a big factor as well. So once again, here we go. These are the darker colors in our line. We've got the Liberty Blue, which is a nice, true, deep navy blue. Then we have our Homestead Blue, that hint of gray green to it. And then we have Ash, which is our kind of modern day take on a charcoal. And then of course, our always famous coal black, jet black. And then our newest color, part of the Fusion um, Michael Penny collection is the Soapstone. So it's a much lighter, softer gray.